Hey everyone, welcome back to Tammy's Fitness Jammies. This is Tammy right here, bringing you another workout today for limited mobility. So if you don't already know, I have a video workout for the lower body and a workout for the core. And now I'm gonna do upper body. So you can click here for the lower body workout, or you can click here for the core body workout. Both of those workouts are for people, again, with limited mobility. And now I'm gonna do the upper body. So today you will need your chair, so a chair, and you will need something heavy for the arms. So I'm gonna use firewood today, but soup cans work great too. So let's get started. I'll meet you on the chair. Okay, so we're going to do this upper body workout, but first you're going to be warm. So you should be doing some shoulder rolls, um, pump your arms like this, lift them up and down like that. And also when you're doing this workout, if you don't wanna use weights to start with, you don't have to. So you can do this workout with no weights, and as your strength increases, then you can start to add the weight. Remember, this is limited mobility, so we're only gonna lift so high, we're only gonna do so much because the mobility is restricted. Okay, so we are going to lift out, we're gonna do our shoulders first, we're gonna lift out to the side like this, and you wanna keep your hands below your shoulders. So don't try to force the weight up really high like that. So like this, and then you're going to bring them forward, and then back out and down. While we do this exercise, you want to have a nice tight core. You don't want to be shrugging your shoulders, so leave your shoulders soft, okay? And you want to be sitting up straight, so you're not slouched in the chair like this, okay? I'm doing this here exercise. Ah, no, that doesn't work very well. So you want to be bracing, sit tall, relax the shoulders, and then you lift. Okay, here we go. We're going to lift, bring it forward, back, and then down. Lift, forward, back, and down. Breathing the whole time. And down, keep going. And that's about four right there. We're gonna aim for 12. So that's five. This is six. Seven. Eight, keeping your core braced. Nine. Ten. Two more to go. Eleven. Last one. Twelve. Okay, take a break. Now, you can do another set of those or you can move on to the next exercise. One thing I do want to say is when you're doing a workout and I state the number of reps, it's just a number. You don't have to do the 12. If you're struggling and you're straining to pump out 12 reps and you're already fatigued at let's say number eight or number seven, uh, that's where you, that's as far as you need to go. Work to get to the number 12, but you don't, it's not like if you don't do 12 reps, you're failing. That's not true at all. Everybody's body's different, everybody's strength is different, so you're gonna reach uh, a fatigue different at a different number than somebody else. So just remember, as long as you're moving and you're trying, each time you do the exercise, you can add a couple reps. That's how you get stronger. Okay, so the next exercise we're gonna do is four hour biceps. We're gonna do a bicep curl. So again, we have to keep our belly nice and tight, sit up straight, don't, Stick your chest out, just sit up straight, net neutral spine, relax those shoulders, and you're going to curl up like this, and then lower down like that. What you don't want to do is swing the weight at the bottom. So you're not swinging the weight like this, okay? You want to keep the shoulders still, so there's no movement in the shoulder when you curl. So the shoulder stays quiet, and you lift, and you lower, okay? Try also not to lift up like this. That's too high. You just, you always want to keep an angle in the arm. So you lift here and then down like that. So you lift and lower. Okay, we're going to start now. That was practice. We're going to do 12. Here we go. One, two, remember to breathe. Three, tighten that core. Four, keep 
the shoulder quiet. Five, no swinging arms. Six, so much to concentrate on, eh? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job, awesome. Okay, the next exercise we're gonna do are wrist curls. So if you wanna put your weights on your lap, like this, and just shake your arms out, give them a little break, it's good. Okay. So we're gonna do wrist curls next. So we need to hold the weight down like this, and if you have no weight in your hand, again, you can do this exercise. You're going to curl your hands inward, like that, and then release, back down to normal. So you're just gonna curl in, and then release, okay? We're gonna do 12 of these, here we go. One, two, three, pausing when we curl in, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, good job. Okay, take a little rest and I'll describe the next exercise. So the final exercise that we're gonna do is an anterior raise or a front raise. So we bring the weight forward like this and then we bring it down. We're going to do one arm at a time and I want you to really concentrate on your form. So you're lifting and then you're slowly lowering. You're not dropping the weight on the way down. So when you lift, you're not going like this, okay? Swinging the arm like that. We want to have control on the way up and on the way down the whole way to here, okay? One arm at a time, but we're going we're gonna to alternate one arm at a time. So like this and then like that, okay? Breathing the whole time, nice tight belly, sit straight, sh soft shoulders. Here we go. One. On each side, we're going to do 12 reps in total. This is two. You can pause a little bit longer, three, pause a little bit longer when you lift, like that, four, so you're pausing, one, two, one, two, five, six, isn't this great, seven, these are excellent strength ex strengthening exercises. Eight. Nine. We have three more to go on each arm. And that is it for the day. Ten. Two more to go. Eleven. Keep the hands below the shoulder, not, not high up. And this is 12. I should have told you that in the beginning. <laughs> you want to keep the hand to shoulder height like that. Lifting the too high like that might cause you pain. So, okay, there you go. So, now you have an upper body exercise routine. You can do this whole routine over again if you like. Um, if you followed the routine and you didn't, uh, didn't get all the number of reps in that I did in the workout, that's okay, you're building strength. That's part of the journey. So you just try the routine again and you'll get stronger each time. And then as you do build up your strength, you can do more sets and you can also lift a heavier weight. So it's all in time, be patient with yourself, keep with it working out, like consistency is important. Consistency, consistency is more important than how much you lift, okay? so. Keep a regular routine, work at your strength, be happy with what you do, be proud of yourself, believe in yourself, and you will get there. So I hope you enjoyed this series. Again, there was one for the lower body for limited mobility, the core, and then this was the upper body. You can find those videos all on my channel, and I'll post the links at the end of this video. So if you like this, thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Have a fantastic day. See ya. Out like that. So when you extend your leg out, you want to flex the foot as well. And then you're going to release and extend. Release and extend. 
And you're gonna keep going like that. And we have five done 